Have you ever wondered how old our Earth is? This question has been at the heart of many scientific inquiries. To unravel this mystery, scientists employ five key methods. Meteorite analysis, radiometric dating, analysis of the oldest rocks on Earth, study of the moon's age, and study of tree rings and soil layers. Each technique offers a unique perspective, helping us piece together the grand puzzle of Earth's history. So are you ready to embark on this exciting journey? Let's delve deeper into these intriguing methods. Ever thought that meteorites could hold the secret to Earth's age? Picture a meteorite, an ancient rock that has traversed the cosmos, carrying a tale from the dawn of our solar system. These celestial travelers are more than just shooting stars, they're cosmic clocks, ticking with information about our planet's past. Scientists study these space rocks, particularly the oldest ones that have found their way to Earth. These meteorites hold within them elements undergoing radioactive decay. This process is like a countdown timer, ticking away since the formation of these meteorites. By studying this radioactive decay, scientists have been able to estimate that these ancient meteorites are about four and a half billion years old. This gives us a minimum age for the Earth because the planet had to exist for these meteorites to fall onto its surface. In essence, these meteorites carry within them a story of cosmic proportions, a tale about the birth of our planet. So meteorites provide us with a cosmic clock. Did you know that rocks could serve as time capsules? Just as a time capsule can preserve memories, rocks can preserve information about our planet's past. Radiometric dating, a method based on the principles of nuclear physics, is the tool scientists use to unlock these rocky time capsules. Picture a rock, formed billions of years ago, with atoms of uranium nestling within. Over time, these uranium atoms decay into lead at a rate that is incredibly consistent and predictable. By measuring the ratio of uranium to lead, scientists can calculate how much time has passed since the rock formed. This is the essence of radiometric dating. Now imagine the oldest rocks on Earth, some of which are found in the icy landscapes of Canada and Greenland. These ancient stones with their intricate mineral compositions have been analyzed using radiometric dating methods. The results, they're around 4 billion to 4.4 billion years old. These ancient rocks provide a window into our planet's distant past, a past that stretches back over an almost incomprehensible span of time. Each grain, each mineral in these rocks holds a story, a story of a world that existed long before humans walked the Earth. By studying these geological time capsules, we can piece together the history of our planet from its fiery birth to the present day. Indeed, rocks tell us a tale as old as time. Surprisingly, the moon also plays a role in determining the Earth's age. Yes, the very moon that lights up our night sky is a sort of cosmic timekeeper. When the Apollo missions of the mid-20th century brought back lunar rocks, they gave scientists a precious opportunity to peer into the past. By examining these space rocks, our researchers have gained significant insights into the age of the solar system, and by extension, our home planet. These lunar rocks were formed during the moon's creation, an event believed to have occurred when a Mars-sized body collided with the young Earth about four and a half billion years ago. The decay rates of radioactive elements in these rocks provide a kind of cosmic clock, allowing us to estimate the age of the moon and the Earth. So it turns out, the moon, our silent companion, holds keys to our past. What if I told you trees and soil can also help us understand Earth's history? Yes, you heard right. Even though these methods are not used directly to calculate the Earth's age, they play a crucial role in understanding the changes in Earth's environment over time. Let's talk about tree rings first. Each year, a tree grows a new ring. By counting these rings, we can determine the tree's age. But that's not all. The thickness of each ring can also provide information about the climate conditions of that year. Thicker rings indicate a wet year, while thinner rings suggest a year of drought. Similarly, soil layers can also tell a story. Over centuries, layers of soil build up, with each layer representing a snapshot of the Earth's climate at that time. By analyzing these layers, scientists can trace the history of climate change, volcanic eruptions, and even meteor impacts. Every ring, every layer, adds a page to Earth's vast environmental history. By piecing together clues from meteorites, rocks, the moon, trees, and soil, we've journeyed through time. 
We've explored how meteorite analysis and radiometric dating reveal our planet's age, how ancient rocks whisper tales of a distant past, and how lunar rocks and tree rings aid in this cosmic detective work. These methods, in harmonious concert, tell us that Earth is approximately 4.54 billion years old. Next time you look at rocks, trees, or gaze at the moon, remember they are silent storytellers of our planet's ancient past.